Hey everyone, this is Nick Orlando with Core AI, and in this video, we're going to be talking about understanding entities, particularly system level entities. Uh, so, <clears throat> to kick things off, uh, an entity, right, is a piece of information, right, that you want to capture from an utterance. So, it could be a name, it could be a place, it could be any specific type of thing that you want to pull out from an utterance and then use that to better answer the user's question. Uh, a couple of examples really quickly. Um, you know, could you show me any, uh, any black TVs or any silver iPhones? Um, so the color, silver or black, would be the entity that is extracted. Another way to think about this as well is, you know, in the context of banking, maybe you're talking about your spending history, something like, hey, how much money did I spend on Starbucks in the past year? So Starbucks would be a vendor or a merchant that you're looking for. And then also the last year is a time frame. So entities can be any types of things that you want to pull out from whatever the user's utterance is and then use that to then make sure that you're tailoring the conversation to what they're looking for. In this context, we're going to be using Orlando Store, our electronics e-commerce virtual assistant. Um, and we're going to jump right into our dialogue tasks. Uh, I'm going to pull up our search products intent and dialogue flow. And what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this name entity right here. So what I want to show you is all of the pre-built system level entities that we have, everything in this list, right? So you have address, airport, attachments, city, country, company name, color, currency, custom, composite, date, date period, date time, etc., etc. I'm not going to read them all off, but we have a lot of different entities that come out of the box pre-built and configured. For the purposes of this video, we're not going to dive into the custom ones, the list of items enumerated or lookup because those are all custom entities that you can create on your own. Um, but for example, I just want to use, um, <clears throat> you know, maybe we're going to use quantity as the entity, right? At, for, for this example, right? So you could say, hi, I would like to purchase uh, two iPhones or I would like to purchase three televisions and one refrigerator, right? So the quantity three, two, one, whatever the quantity is, is the entity that's going to be extracted from that utterance and then used to update the cart to reflect what the user is asking for. So if it's three refrigerators, then it's going to update refrigerator in the cart and have the quantity set to three of them. Um, it's pretty pretty easy to understand and we have a great level of system level entities and then you can also define custom entities but we're going to talk about that in another video. Just wanted to give you that quick overview of system level entities. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.